Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM 6.0. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and manage keys with QLM Pro. To create a license key, click on the Create button. The Create License dialog appears. Select your product, the number of keys to create, and the number of activations per key. Multiple activations key allows you to create a single license key and embed the number of allowed activations in the license key. QLM manages the number of activated licenses and prevents the user from activating more than the specified value. Multiple activations from the same computer are only counted once. Use this feature when you want to give your customers a single activation key when they buy several copies of your software. Floating Seats If implementing floating licenses, specify the number of floating seats associated to this activation key. For more details about the floating or concurrent license model, refer to the QLM Enterprise Help. Floating Seats also allows you to control the number of instances of your application that can run in a terminal server session. An instance is uniquely identified by a terminal server session for a specific user. To enable this feature, set the Limit Terminal Server Instances property of the QLM license object to true in your code. If the license was sold by an affiliate, set the affiliate that sold the license. Generic License A generic license is a license that is not bound to a specific computer. Use generic licenses when you want to issue an unlimited site license to a corporate customer. Maintenance Plan When maintenance plan is checked, license keys become version agnostic. Use this option if you have offered your customer free upgrades to future versions of your software. To associate the license to a customer, select the email address of the customer. Features Select the features to enable in this license. Duration-based evaluation Specify the duration of the evaluation license. A maximum of three digits is allowed. Date-based evaluation Enter the date on which the evaluation will expire. This date has precedence over the duration specified previously. The Save Default button allows you to save default settings for all the settings specified in this dialog. The Advanced tab allows you to set the QLM Engine version to use as well as to associate any data of your choice to the license in the User Data field. Note that activation keys can also be created via an API or directly from your e-commerce provider order form. Visit our website for a list of supported e-commerce providers. Once you have selected the desired options, click on the OK button. An activation key is generated, published to the database, and displayed in the console. To activate a license key, select the license from the grid view and click on the Activate button. Note that the activation process is typically done from your application via the QLM.NET control, the QLM license wizard, or an API call. You can use the QLM application to activate a license key when a customer does not have an internet connection and requires manual activation. To activate a license key, you must specify the computer identifier. This is a unique identifier of your choice, such as a computer name, a MAC address, a hard disk serial number, or any other value that uniquely identifies the system. When a key is activated, a computer-bound key is generated. This key embeds the computer identifier. When activation occurs from your application, the computer-bound license key is returned to your application and is used subsequently as the main license key. The Edit button allows you to edit fields associated to the selected license. The Release button allows you to deactivate a license key so that it can be used on another computer. 
Delete found here deletes a license key. The upgrade process generates a new activation key that needs to be sent to the customer. The previous activation key is archived. Upgrade your customer to a new version of your product, an additional set of features, or a new version of the QLM engine. If you sell your software as a subscription, you can renew subscriptions without sending your customers a new license key. By updating the subscription expiry date, customers can simply reactivate the existing license key to renew their subscription. When a subscription is extended, each activated license is automatically reactivated on the server and a new computer-bound key is generated with a new expiry date. When customers reactivate their license, they receive the new computer-bound key and the new expiry date, thus extending their subscription period. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.